from Marie Nicole Designs, and I wanted to show you a few fun and simple techniques with scrapbook.com's Cloud Whip. This stuff is really fun, really fun to apply over stencils like I'll be doing today. There are some other techniques that you can do with this also, but I'm just going to be focusing on stencils. So I'm creating a background on some uh, just plain white cardstock. I'm taking some purple and I'm just going to ink blend this whole background, just adding some color so that I can stencil over the top. One thing that I like about the cloud whip is you can stencil it over a background and that's what we're going to be doing today. So uh, distress oxides, I'm using the villainous potion color, which is just a really fun purple. And I'm just going to take my time and ink blend this whole background. Now I'm not going to show you all of the ink blending because I think you guys get the general idea. You just get a little bit of ink onto your ink blending tool, uh, blend it on in small circular motions and just keep going. And after a while, it'll smooth out, um, take your time, be patient with it, and you'll have a really nice background. So I'm opening up my cloud whip here. There's a little um, piece of paper on the inside. You're going to peel off that seal piece, and then I'm using a palette knife, and I'm just going to dig in there. Now, this is a thicker type consistency. And that's okay because it is meant to be mixed with other mediums. You can use it just plain white, but the fun thing about this is you can mix it with different things to color it. So I'm actually using some pops of color. This is the large bottle that's available at scrapbook.com. And I love that they put some of those basic colors in a large bottle so that you can use quite a bit and not use up the smaller um, size right away. Now, when you open up your pops of color, whether you're using the big bottle or a small bottle, you're going to take off the top and pull out that red stopper, and then you'll be able to go ahead and get your pops of colors going. I went ahead and I squirted quite a bit into this uh, cloud whip pile here. I'm using my palette knife to mix it up. One thing that you need to keep in mind when you're mixing colors with your cloud whip is you are mixing it into a opaque white of that cloud whip. So whatever color you're going to put in to your cloud whip, it's going to end up being lighter or more of a muted color or, or a pastel. So even though I'm adding some black to this cloud whip, after I uh, whip it up, <laughs> you're going to have more of a gray, which is fine because I'm just going to add this over a stencil. And then I'm actually going to add some glitter to it, but I'll show you that here in a minute. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you thumbs up, like this video, comment if you have any questions or thoughts, or you just want to interact with other crafters. And if you haven't yet, please tap that no bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Anyway, I added a little bit more of that black pops of color, mixed it up so it's nice and smooth, and you will notice a bit of a consistency change with this cloud whip as you add different mediums and work with it. It will get a little bit smoother and a little bit more runny, if you will, um, as you add different things to it and work with it, but it makes it spread a little bit easier. So I'm picking this up with my palette knife, spreading it over my stencil, and um, you can do this with a palette knife as I'm doing. You can also see I have those big scrapbook.com scraper tools on the left hand top corner. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use those also. Now that I have a lot of this uh, whip on there, I'm going to take this scraper tool and just scrape off the extra and get a really nice uh, stenciled um, result here. So I used the bats from scrapbook.com, their bat stencil, stenciled on those gray bats there. And before this dries, you wanna do this while it's wet. I'm taking a little bit of black glitter and I'm just going to sprinkle it on. Now I'm <laughs> sprinkling it on over my craft mat so that I can kind of pick up that extra and put it back in. Um, but if you want to do it over a piece of paper or a coffee filter or um, like a little tray to catch that glitter um, and, and save the extra. You can see that I have a lot of glitter hanging on to that background on that inked background. I'm not going to touch it yet. I'm going to let that uh, cloud whip dry and then I'll be able to go ahead and brush it off. If I tried to brush it off now, I'm just going to smear that cloud whip and nobody wants that. So here is my background all dried. I did go ahead and I took a brush and I just brushed off that extra glitter. Here I have a soft fan brush and that works really well. Or if you have a little paintbrush or something, you can uh, go ahead and use that also. 
I've got that background all done and I'm going to show you another variation of background. So now I'm using their little spooky ghost stencil here in the background. Again, scooping out a little bit of this cloud whip and I'm going to mix it with some more pops of color this time a uh, different one than the black one but you can also use ink if you have ink pads go ahead and squish it out onto your glass mat or whatever um surface you're using if it's one that you can mix things on you can use inks you can use uh all kinds of different things re-inkers um anything that you really want to try out uh to mix into this cloud whip you can so I'm using some of this pearlescent type uh, pops of color and this isn't really going to change the color much. It's going to be white, but it's going to give it sort of a pearly finish, a shiny finish by mixing that pearl color in with it. I did try to mix glitter right into the Cloud Whip and it doesn't work exactly the way you might want it to because that Cloud Whip does just kind of um, cover up all of the glitter so that it doesn't really sparkle. It just looks a little chunky. So if you wanted to add some texture to your Cloud Whip, you absolutely can by adding glitter, but it's not going to be shiny like if you add the glitter to the top like we did with the bats. So now that my Cloud Whip is all mixed up or whipped up, if you will, um, I'm adding it to my scraper and then I'm going to scrape it over my stencil. So that is another way you can use this scraper. You can use it to directly apply your Cloud Whip on um, or use your palette knife if you think it's easier and then scrape off the extra with a scraper any way you want to do it. If you use a palette knife, you can get into the smaller areas a little bit more if you want to just isolate a few designs or little areas and just add some Cloud Whip in, in specific areas. A palette knife is, is good for that. So here you have the little stenciled result here. It is wet just like um, our bats and I'm going to let it dry. It's all dry now. I came back later and I thought it would be fun to take some more of that black pops of color and add little eyes to these spooky little guys. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out on each of these little ghosties and um, give them little eyes. You really don't need a lot, just a tiny, tiny bit. And so I'm um, just giving them each little tiny eyes. I hope you can see this well on the screen. Um, I know it's kind of tiny and it's white on white, but I think you can kind of make out the outlines of those ghosts and you can see the little eyes that we're adding. Now I didn't show you the rest of the creative process on this video. I really wanted to concentrate on that cloud whip, but I did take these backgrounds and I made a few cards out of them using some more stencils and inks and card supplies from scrapbook.com. I will have those all linked down below in the description box if you want to check out everything that we used on these cards. Otherwise, like I mentioned earlier, make sure you give this video a like, a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment if you have any questions or you want to chat with other creatives down in the in the comments. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.